Martin Delaney. Hi, my name is Carolyn Mitchell, and today I'm going to talk about Martin Delaney. Martin Delaney was one of the great abolitionists of the 19th century. His name can be linked to other great abolitionists such as W.E.D. Du Bois and Frederick Douglass. Delaney ideology was more radical and militant than Du Bois and Douglass, as others would say. This may be the reason why he has not been given much recognition of his predecessors. However, Martin Delaney's accomplishments can speak value for itself. His accomplishments are a political activist, a journalist, a physician, a writer, and a civil, war, a civil war warrior. Martin Delaney was born May the 6th, 1812, in Charlestown, West Virginia, to Samuel and Patty Delaney. Samuel and Patty Delaney's parents were brought to America from Africa during the slave trade. Samuel and Delaney always, always told their children about the grandparents on the great African land that they came from. They always told them that their family was royalty. Although Samuel Delaney was born into slavery, his wife Patty was a free woman. Patty being a free woman also made Martin and his sister free from slavery. Although it was always illegal for the South and the South for, for the children to learn how to read, Patty Delaney was determined to teach her children how to read and write. Her children became so good at reading and writing that they decided that they was going to write some papers for their community for in order to travel as they were being a slave. This was illegal because these was traveling, tr these were traveling papers for them to go back and forth. Once slave owners found out, Patty had to take her children and they moved to Pennsylvania. Later, Samuel, Samuel would buy or purchase his freedom and he would join them. As Delaney got older, Delaney moved to Pittsburgh. Delaney, he also went to Jefferson, Jefferson College. And when he went to Jefferson College, he learned Latin and he learned Greek. He also met his wife, Catherine, and they had 11 children. All 11 children had great names, great names from Africa. This is what Delaney has been instilled in him, and he wanted to make sure that his children carried on great names. But Delaney also got really disturbed about the way the, the United States were treating African American people. So he decided to write a newspaper. His newspaper focused on the unequal justice of black people. Later in 1847, Martin would join Frederick Douglass and be co-editor of his newspaper, The North Star. The North Star was a great paper because it also, it also, it, it focused on the issues of black people. Martin would later attend medical school at Harvard University. He was, he was one of three black men to go to the school for the med for medical. This was unheard of. However, although it was unheard of and they was accepted, they was also rejected by the students there. There were great protests for them to get out of the school and they were dismissed, dismissed from the program. This also was really devastating to Delaney. So Delaney decided in 1859, he went to Liberia. He wanted to go to Liberia to investigate the possibility of a new black nation. So they began to call him a black nationalist. He stayed in Africa for about nine months. The trade was, dis it was dissolved. It was dissolved due to white missionaries that did not want this to happen. Later, he also found out America was in the Civil War. So in 1864, after Lincoln had called for military draft, Delaney began to recruit, he began to recruit black men and recruit black men for the Union America, I mean the Union Army. Delaney came the first African American field officer of the United States. After the war, after the war, Delaney went to South Carolina. He participated in Reconstruction. This is Reconstruction of America. Also, 
what Delaney did was he became a politician. He began to begin to do politics and became a, became a part of the Republican Party. He was influenced by all the population. He was really influenced by a lot of people to do this. But in 1874, he narrowly missed election as a lieutenant governor. In 1876, as the Republican began to lose control of their states, Delaney switched to conservative Democrat. However, Delaney became very involved in politics. But eventually, when politics began to collapse for him in 1879, Delaney returned to practicing medicine and later became a businessman in Boston. He died on June the 24th in 1885. However, as you can see, Delaney is a great man. He did a lot of things. He accomplished a lot of things. The one thing as Americans we must understand and remember, we have great abolitionists that fought for us down through the years. And today we can see that if we fight, and we stick together and we also move as a nation and as a country, whether you're black, you're white, <clears throat> we can do great things. We have accomplished that today with the President Obama, re-elected President Obama. He could not be here without these great people that have fought before him, such as W.E.D. Du Bois and Frederick Douglass, but also Martin Delaney. The Martin Delaney played a big role <clears throat> in our American history. Thank you.